hello guys my name is Lydia welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be creating this look for you guys it's one of the looks I created last year I created it for close to New Year's Eve too so I decided to recreate it for you guys today because I was thinking of a look to do for New Year's Eve and I felt this was really appropriate and I've gotten so many requests to actually do a tutorial in it so that's what we're recreating for you guys today I tried to like recreate it to the tea but I couldn't find the cardigan I was putting on and I also couldn't find the I, I can't remember what I did with my hair rather in this picture so but the makeup look I'm going to be doing exactly what I did in this um, look I'm going to be doing that for you guys today so if you like to see how I achieve this look please keep on watching so I'm back and I've gone ahead to um, finish up these eyes and I'll complete these eyes for you guys on camera so the first thing I've done is to bring down extend the concealer I used for my brows a little bit down here and I'm going to go ahead and just blend that in more so from my um, all I want for Christmas palette from eye candy cosmetics doing this ensures that the lid is set properly and it doesn't your eyeshadow does not crease if you use concealer for your eyeshadow you have to make sure you set it properly so the liquid lipstick i'll be taking is this one from beauty by ad it's in the shade hot shots and i'll be mixing it with this one from um nyx cosmetics and it's in the shade copenhagen and both of them are actually liquid lipsticks i love to use liquid lipsticks as a base because they help me um, get the pigmentation of the colors out like if I'm using this burgundy now it helps me bring out the burgundy pigmentation of the eyeshadow very well to make sure you blend this out properly if not it's going to set in that manner and to leave you with a harsh line I'm going to be going in with this color from my Morphe 3502 palette and I'm going to just be using that to blend up the top of of the eyeshadow just to create like a transition color I'm kind of bringing it forward and extending it like more into my inner corner like than I would normally do my eyeshadows just to give me the illusion of a bigger eyelid space this color here and this black I'm going to be mixing the both of them then I'm taking a little bit of the black now and just placing it on the, on the outer corner more Next, I'm going in with more of that burgundy shade from the Eye Candy Cosmetics palette. It doesn't come in names, so I would have told you the name, but it doesn't come in names. Very fluffy blending brush is clean, and I'm just going to blend out the top of my eyeshadow so that I make sure it doesn't have any harsh lines. I'm going to be cutting my crease with concealer, and this is LA Girl Fawn. I already placed some of it here. So that's what I'll be using to cut my crease. I'm extending it out of my normal um, lid to create that illusion of a bigger lid space. from the eye candy palette the really light shade and i'm going to be setting my concealer with it you have to set anywhere you use concealer on your eyelid you have to set it if not it's going to crease and you end up having creased eye look in this color from my morphe palette Getting to this point that has this stark harsh line, I'm going to just take this color, this color, I'm going to take this color and I'm going to take this dark color here. I'm going to be mixing those two and I'll just be tapping it on that line to kind of create like a div diffusion or to diffuse the color to make them look like they are marrying each other. The liner I'm going to be using is from NYC and I noticed using liner before um, using liner before glitter helps me control where the glitter goes and helps my liner to be very straight and even as opposed to applying over glitter it to be like bumpy and not so smooth for glitter I'm going to be using this one from EA Beauty and this Bernard glitter glue it's my favorite I mix the two of them together so it looks like a gel then I apply it to my eyelid for lashes I'm using my La Page Trend Amethyst lashes 
so these are the eyes completed we're going to go ahead and finish up the face and then i'll come back to apply highlighter and lipstick so i'm back guys the highlighter i used is this one from those of colors is their shade um um desi and katie's collaboration with those of colors and it's in the shade mirami i love this glow like i'm shook actually just showed my snap fam so if you're snap say hi but i'm going to go ahead and do the lips so for the lips now you can go ahead and do a matte lip with this you can do nude you can do um burgundy lips this one is from beauty by ad but i'm going to be doing glossy lips like the thumbnail that you saw so the glossy lips i'm going to be using is are these ones from ellie girl this is in the shade pin up and this one is in the shade tempt the uh, tempt alone the pin up it's quite red but the tempt now brings it's like a dark purple so both of them mixed together makes it look sort of um like burgundy this is what i'm just doing i'm just mixing them together i wish i can show you guys just mixing 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 till they come to one oh guys i burnt my hand that's what you're seeing there it's a very big scar it's nasty but it is what it is that's what happened um this christmas while i was frying so i'm just mixing it you can see it's coming out like burgundy because i know most of you are going to ask me how did you mix it oh so i had to show you and i don't do this when i'm working on my clients before there are two new people will come and tell me it's not hygienic this is just for me these lip glosses they are high shine lip glosses and our advice if you want to put them if you want to use a lip liner you can because they actually do bleed like they roll down your lips but i'm just going to go ahead and apply this the way i like because i'm not going anywhere really but if i were to go somewhere i'll try to secure it with a lip liner first then this So guys that completes this makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below what you think of this look also please don't forget to like this video on your way out and also subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video and also see you guys next year bye